Hi, my name is Vlad from Artec 3D. Guess what we're gonna scan today? An entire helicopter. We've decided to scan the helicopter because we wanted to show that it is possible to scan a big object with LEO and luckily Air Rescue provided us a helicopter. It can be used for industrial purposes such as surface inspection. For example, you could check how the surface of the helicopter has changed after several takeoffs and landings. It could be also used in scan-based designs so you could design another equipment for the helicopter based on the given model using it as a reference. And last but not least, you could also use it for quality inspection. We've decided to use Ray and Leo scanners because they are the most portable scanners. For the Ray scanner, all you need is to use the scanner in battery mode and you have the possibility to make the scans via the mobile app which is available for iOS and Android. With the LEO it's even more easier because everything that you need for a proper scanning session is already on board. Overall it would be totally possible to make the whole scan with LEO only, but we've decided to make also some ray scans to create some sort of backbone and use them as a reference for the LEO scan. We've started by taking uh, scans with the ray, here we took 16 scans in total, 8 from the bottom and 8 from the top, while moving the scanner about 45 degrees for each scan around the helicopter. This whole process took us about 2 to 3 hours. Scanning the helicopter with the LEO is quite easy because it happens very fast and after the post-processing you will achieve a great accuracy. So with the LEO we took about 26 scans, each scan covered another part of the helicopter. What we also did for, uh, for alignment purposes and a better global registration in the post-processing was applying additional texture features. Therefore, we sprayed crossed lines with an evaporating scanning spray. The first and most obvious challenge was to scan the bottom of the helicopter because we were not able to lift the helicopter up. Between the ground and the bottom of the helicopter was only a very small place, so we had to crawl underneath it and couldn't hold the scanner in a 90 degree manner against the surface that we wanted to scan. Another challenge was to scan the blades. The blades were very long and very thin and also on the bottom of the blades they were black and had absolutely no features. So what we had to do was to apply masking tape on the blades and then draw some crossed lines on that masking tape to ensure a stable tracking. Otherwise, it wouldn't be possible to scan the blades. For the best conditions to scan such a big object, it is necessary to have enough space to walk around the object and also, if possible, a machine to lift the object up. After a few weeks of post-processing, we received the final model. I would like to pay some more attention on the well-reconstructed fin blades as well as the well-reconstructed fin wings on the tail of the helicopter. Also, the very detailed mount for the rotor blades, which could be only scanned from a wider, wider distance and was only possible due to the great depth of field of the LEO scanner. 